What is up guys? Fahir here from awesome and as you can see we have a new format for this video. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna create a video like that, but hey, welcome to another two cents, my rant, my story, my advice, however you wanna call it. And uh, yeah, this time as you can see from the title of the video, I wanna talk about a myth. I wanna talk about something that's been bothering students from the first student who ever existed up to today, and I don't know what I'm saying, but anyways, before I even say anything, I just wanna point out that I have been doing this for more than five years. And when I say this, I mean creating tutorials on YouTube and creating online courses. And the one thing that people complain the most is the outdated tutorials, outdated courses. This course is outdated. This tutorial is outdated. I cannot learn. And that is not true. People cannot learn because people are lazy. Now, again, I'm not creating this video to bash anyone. I'm not gonna say names, even though I don't know names <laughs> that I could say. So I'm not gonna point, I'm not gonna say you or Carl or Kenny or whoever does it. So I'm not gonna do that or I'm not saying that, but I wanna point out as a general rule that instead of using that tutorial, even though it is outdated, you can still learn a lot, but people are lazy and just expect new things to be served to them right away. And what do I mean by this? Well, let's take Unity for example. I started using Unity more than five years ago and I started using it when there was Unity 4.5 version with the old UI. Now, for those of you guys who are old Unity users, you know the old and you remember the old UI. Now, when Unity came up with the new UI in version 4.6, literally from that point up to till today, that's the only thing that has drastically changed in Unity. I'm not mentioning the new things that are introduced. I'm not saying about new things that are introduced like later on in version five and 2017 and so on and so forth. But for those of you who used it, you know, prior to the new UI, that's the only thing that has drastically changed that you had to like learn how to use it again from scratch because of the new features, new code that has been added, yada, yada, yada. So it's been five years since, since then. So my point is that there are no outdated tutorials. There are no outdated courses. If you enroll in a course or if you watch a YouTube tutorial that uses Unity version five, download that version, follow the tutorial because if you focus again, going back from the previous video, what I talked about and what I talk a lot is learning the fundamentals. If you focus on learning the fundamentals, the, the programming part, the game development part, when I say game development part, I mean mechanics, how to put together a game that will never change. Even in Unity version 3010, in Unreal Engine version 5000 and in Unreal Engine version 4 and Unity version 2019 or whichever version is the current version up to date. So those things will never change. Like the other day I also got a question and somebody asked me like, can you redo the C sharp and C plus plus tutorials. I mean, I ask why, what's wrong with the ones that I currently have? Because the concept that I'm teaching you like variables, they didn't change since the beginning of programming languages, variables didn't change. Functions, classes, objects, I'm talking about object oriented program, I'm not talking about other forms of programming, okay? Just to be clear. So that didn't change and that will not change in a hundred years if there is still object oriented programming hundred years, of course, but the concepts will not change. So my point here is don't focus on, oh, the tutorials is done in Unity version 2017. Man, just download that version and follow the tutorial and learn. And besides, not a lot of things change when new updates come out. It's not like, as I said, things don't change that drastically that you need to like learn new concepts in order to understand how to implement the specific feature or understand how to use it. So my point is that a lot of people are lazy and that's, they come up with, oh, the tutorial is outdated, the course is outdated, when you're gonna update it, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I'm not saying like, there is no need to update. I'm updating my Game Development Academy constantly, so I'm adding new and new content. But my point is, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to follow the newest version in order to understand what is going on in that particular tutorial. So for example, if you are trying to learn how to make the camera follow the player and that tutorial is from two years ago, 
It doesn't matter. Like download that current version or the version that is using the tutorial, learn how to do that and try to implement that same thing in the newest version. This is how you will learn better instead of just waiting for somebody to serve you. Oh, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you create a tutorial? And I know like literally in this tutorial, people will be like, okay, can you create a tutorial for this or for that? People are just waiting for me or somebody else to serve them the things that they want to achieve in their games. What kind of game developer are you if you're just waiting other people, other tutors, instructors, however to call them, to create a specific thing so that you can implement it in your own game? What kind of game developer are you? I mean, I, again, I don't want to bash anyone. And when I say what kind of game developer are you, I'm not referring to you, the person watching this video. I'm talking metaphorically. So yeah, you get the point. I don't want anybody to get offended. I'm just giving advices here that I wish somebody gave me when I was learning how to make games and how to program in general because if I knew these things that I know now, probably it would have taken me three months or even less to learn how to code. Instead of that, it took me more than a year. So yeah, there you go. Don't worry about, don't worry about outdated tutorials, outdated courses. Just learn the concept that's being taught in that video and even if it's not the same, exactly the same in the newest version, you will learn then how to implement because it will be approximately 95% the same and it will be easier for you to implement it in a new version and you will do it on your own. Maybe you will have some troubles and that is a good thing. When I say troubles, you will have issues implementing, you will have errors or whatnot, but that is a good thing because that is how you will learn better. That is how you will understand programming, that is how you will understand game development, and that is how you will become a game developer and a programmer quicker. Okay, so these are my two cents. Hopefully this video will help somebody open his eyes, will help somebody understand how to learn to code and make games. And uh, Pahe here from awesometoots.com. I guess, I don't know, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye and take care.